All right, Anton, uh, come. Just stop crying like a baby because you're going to be on film, bro. Teach me grappling. What's up, guys? I've got Jeffrey Simon here today. He's going to help us out. Jeff, how you feeling? Feeling good. All right. Tonight, we did some Kimuras. And we had some little bit advanced Kimura stuff. And some very basic Kimura stuff. But let's start out with the half guard. Get over here. Uh, Jeff, please. Turn this way. There we go. We got the shot. Here it is. Happens all the time in the half guard. The guy's trying to play uh, on top, you know, and I'm playing knee shield. I could have a locked knee shield. So you can walk around right here real quick and see the lock. So I have a locked knee shield and then come on back. So, you know, when I'm here, you know, maybe Jeff's like on top, he's trying to like put his body weight on top of me. I'm, I'm keeping him back. I'm framing here. As I gain wrist control, if this elbow ever opens, boom, that's our signal to go inside and look for the Kimura, okay? Very common attack, everyone loves it, especially if you open that elbow. Now, what I was showing a little bit of tonight, some of the basics, I'm gonna try to like, come over here, Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> there we go, now we're fighting. Okay, so now, you see his elbow's in. What I'm gonna do, guys, to go for it, is I'm gonna bring my body to the elbow, and I'm gonna control on the elbow. So that when Jeff tries to clamp the elbow, I'm gonna pull the elbow and create this hole so I can punch it in. Now, you can't just muscle someone. A lot of times it's gonna be hard, but there's a leverage point when you grab right here on the elbow that, that would be nice to understand. Close the elbow, strong, okay? You see that? I'm pushing the wrist and I pull the elbow. So that way I'm not trying to do this and close the elbow. And I can't, I, there's no way I can get it. Instead I'm coming here and I'm clamping like this. Now, as you try to posture, pull away, you see how like I'm pulling and then boom, I can shove it in and lock it. When I lock it, guys, I prefer not to have the thumb grip. I don't like the thumb grip. I start with a thumb grip. I always teach this. I prefer five fingers outside, roll my wrist, like motorcycle, like kind of go like this, like you're revving the motorcycle. So I go here and then now once I have it, very basic, I hip escape, I put my knee shield in. I'm gonna pull his hand in and then I'm gonna pop my knee shield out as I roll towards my back, okay? Now, if you look at on the other side, I have the leg still, just a basic half guard, and I'm closing my legs. If Jeff tries to roll, I try not to let him. I don't want him to roll. So come around here now, uh, keep walking. That looks good. Now I'm trying to break his shoulder, right? I'm trying to pull the elbow out of the socket, like this way. I'm trying to pull the shoulder out of the socket by pulling his elbow this way. So I'm tensioning it. You feel that, Jeff? Yeah. Try to roll. And I tap them. Now, some people that are flexible and they're squirrely, they will tuck hard on that roll. When they start to roll, oftentimes the half guard gets lost, okay? And we end up in something like this or we're coming up here, okay? But today's, can you backward roll? Whoop. Today's lesson, we kept the half guard. So when we keep the half guard, guys, as I'm trying to hurt him, he's trying to force his defensive roll. When he does, I roll on top and I'm still in half guard. Now, notice my elbow is near his elbow. I don't wanna come back here like this. Okay, I'm not trying to do this. If I involve more of his shoulder, he's really strong. If you go ahead and hit a nice straighten on me, yeah, and twist, yeah, I'm gonna lose that grip or grab your inner thigh. Like, come on back, let me have it. Or we come over here and grab your inner thigh. Like, you're so strong right now, Jeff. You feel that? Yeah. But when I have it here, you guys see how I'm near his elbow? And now try to do something. No, I you got nothing, right? Yeah. Now, next, what I'm gonna do is I want you to focus on my toes. So he's holding half guard because he feels like that's his lifeline. I'm gonna get on my toes. See that? I just pucker up and I get on those toes. Next. I try to place my head, my forehead, this is a sportive technique. I'm gonna place it on the mat and I wanna travel a distance. I don't wanna put my head here, okay? It becomes hard. I wanna put my head here as I stand. 
try to keep my legs, okay? As I stamp, big step, I step over his head. So you can go around and get a look at the head. Then I'm gonna scrape and wrap my head or my leg around his head. The second I do that, I can't come back because he's not gonna let me. He's gonna lean to his left. It's his only survival tool. As I do that, I fall to my right shoulder. I rotate towards the head. Now look what we have. We have a half guard with a leg over his head. Now we can lock, if possible. If you can't lock, that's okay too. But this is awesome. So now I either break him here with a lock, I try to break him. See right there, he taps, or he's able to successfully roll. This time when he rolls, I push back. As I push back, I go right knee down, the leg that's in the half guard, not the leg that's around the head. See that? So this one's down and the other one is up. So now with this one up, I have a very powerful position. Not only do I have a leg over his head, but he's crunched into a half guard. Try to move, see that? And now I just pull the elbow and that finishes the, the submission, okay? If you land and you have your knee down right here, it can be really hard to try to like get up. So when I transition, I push off this foot right here and then we have the finish. Now this is the whole thing that we did tonight, guys. This is not like one move. So obviously this is, looks really advanced to someone who's a beginner. We have our basic stuff. You're gonna, you're gonna like come more people a lot from half guard. Sometimes you just pull the sucker out and put it behind his back, it's a done deal. But they're gonna roll. And when they roll and you end up in half guard, it's nice to have some extra things that you can go right to your finish. Because you are in half guard when you end up on top and sometimes that's gonna prevent you from finishing, especially if you let that guy bring his hands together or grab his inner thigh or anything like that. So let's try it again. So I'm on the bottom, okay? And I'm playing here and you know, half guard, classic kind of knee shield. This time I'm using a little high knee shield. That's okay. You know, yeah, you wanna smash that? Okay, I'll go lock knee shield, smash, start to pass. Look, he put his head on that side sometimes that allows this to open. If you brought your head over here, man, I can't get to that Kimura, huh? But now I'm framing you away, huh? So now I'm like looking for other techniques. Boom, Oma Plata on that arm. So what happens is the guy kind of like, he's trying to figure out how to play and he wants to kind of smash pass. Yeah, like this. And boom, I come over here and I lock up that Kimura. Remember, slip it in or you have this little move here. Get a good grip. Now, as he tries to play, I have a lock on this, a pull and a push. Try to, try to resist now. And push her, pull away, use your other hand. Yeah, come on, nice, keep going. I'm just showing the technique. There it is. Why'd you give it to me, bro? Don't give it to me, don't give it to me. Oh, he's trying to resist, he's trying to posture. Pull it out, oh, he's trying to roll. I end up on top. I'm in half car with the Kimura, what do I do? Get on my toes. Dive my forehead forward, big step. Can you stop that leg? Stop it, stop the leg. See that? Roll, try to lock, try to finish. If I can, I will. And then I land, leg this in half guard, goes down, leg over the head is here. Keep everything tight, see it's close to my chest, I pull. Remember, take the shoulder, pull it out of the socket, and then apply the force. Don't just have it loose like this. See his arm moving like this and he's not tapping, okay? Yes, he will eventually tap, but it's way stronger. I keep it here and I'm pulling his elbow to me as I'm twisting it, okay? You ready to try it, dude? Let's do it. All right, Jeff's ready. You guys, you guys heard him say, he said he's ready. Okay, guys, so look, he's playing knee shield. Again, like, I know that there's guys that will destroy your knee shield, but some guys will give you this. You know, you're playing here, See, he's trying to dominate that wrist, okay? And maybe the guy tries to lock around your leg, something like this. Here, you got the lock. Go ahead, pull that sucker out. Maybe I grab my inner thigh, pull it in and then out. In and then out, not just, not just that way. Pull it in, in and then out. Good, now roll towards your back. If you can tap me right here, keep the legs down, maybe you tap me here. Try to hurt me, there you go. And then what if I roll? We're in half guard. Don't lose the Kimura, kid. Don't lose the Kimura. See how I want this? Yes. Big step. Nice. 
Now, which way are you gonna roll, Jeff? This way. Go ahead and see way? what happens if you roll that way. Um, maybe not that way. Yeah, maybe right. not that way. If you want a Kimura me, you gotta oh, face yeah. the head. Roll over right shoulder. Yeah, go, go, go. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. Keep going, you gotta pry it out, because I got my hands together, bro. Yes, and sit back. Oh, right there, now go ahead, sit. What was it? Um, yeah, yeah, pull the, sh pull the elbow out of the socket, like pull the elbow, I say it wrong. Pull the shoulder out of the socket by pulling the elbow to your, to your chin, you know, towards that, yes, okay. very good, okay? However you wanna think of it, okay? Yeah. One last time, here, let me hit it one more time, okay? So again, I clamp, okay, trying to move, I open the, the, the window, shove my arm inside. Or maybe we're playing right here and you're closing your elbow, okay, and I'm just like pushing you, making you pace, boom, pull it, then I got it. You're in trouble, bro. Okay, look at where I go. Forward, stand up. You see, I'm pinning his arm to the mat. See how high my butt is, try to hold, try. See, if I go like this, I can't step over the head, huh? No. See, what if I go, now try, try. Look at my knee here. Eventually I end up there, push off the mat. Rolling, rolling, rolling. And now it's over. Okay? Yeah. That's the series today. Nice job. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, Kimuras are great techniques. It's really popular. So you gotta have good defenses for this too. So maybe next video, we'll talk about our defensing uh, of this move or, or just of, of Kimuras from half guard. Um, there's lots of stuff I could talk about on this subject, and uh, I hope it helps. I mean, it's again, I can't stress this enough. The Kimura has been like almost revitalized more and more and more. I know some people will point back to the history of like Sakuraba. You know, Sakuraba, they'll go as far back as Kimura, right? Kimura catching Helio Gracie, and then Sakuraba catching Henzo Gracie, and then you have uh, just uh, Avalon, you have David Avalon coming out with the Kimura trap and like just so many people working on it. It doesn't matter if it's the 10 Planet Boys or if it's the Danaher Death Squad, everybody's hitting the Kimura and um, it's out there. It's so popular nowadays, you must know some of these finishes and you have to be aware of how to defend them. So hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jeff. And click the link down below at Patreon and PayPal in the description box and I'll be back for more with more great stuff.